let's cut right to the chase. This video is about win rates. Uh, I've never really monitored my win rates when I play decks, but I had a couple of uh, people ask, you know, how good is uh, how good is Big Rogue? And I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell them. So I did a sample size. I played 33 games on stream. We ended up with a 64% win rate, and that was out of 21 to 12 wins to losses. Uh, here's some example games. Have you got? Are you play? Have you played many? Um, Oh, he's even. Have you played many, um, many priests with that? That's that's got to be a, a good deck against priests, on it. Hopefully, I don't get the fall. Go on, use your uh, eel. Yeah. Oh, I run scheme, but it doesn't show on the list because it's um, it's old. The software is not updated. I mean, it's old, old software. I do run. I have one scheme. I think that's the only like new card I've got in it. Is a scheme. So there's 29 cards in that list. So we don't want to play both out because that would that would make us weak to. Uh, Devolve extra, extra weak to devolve. He's trading, he's trading, or maybe he's not. He's trading. It's a bad idea, mate. You not to know, but that's a bad idea. It's a very bad idea. Do it again. Trade again. Nothing bad will happen. Do I play the expensive one or the cheap one? I'm really tempted just to like see if I draw this out and then neck and vile whatever pops out. Alright, screw it, let's neck and vile. Because obviously if, if that had popped out, that would have been that would have been like the best one to vile on, but we'll we'll do it on that. Oh, he's still trading. Great. Elements I like. That was a that was a, a bad trade. That was a really bad trade. I don't think there's much need for him to do that. Punch first, punch first. I'm still gonna sap that. Should I trade? I should just actually. I could just eviscerate it, couldn't I? I could just eviscerate. No harm there, innit? Get rid of it. Sap's good for other targets. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing with that. Fan's still necessary, yeah. I would say fan's still necessary. Might as well try that as well. Uh, the last. Oh, there's two more eight drops, but let's have an eight drop party. Let's have an eight drop bash. Eh? All right, let's make this. Let's make this uh, official. Punch first. There you go. That's officially all the eight drops there. I mean, I had lethal most likely with the old, uh, the old sap, but that's uh, impenetrable wall, isn't it? He ain't doing anything to me there. I'll put that down as a four-two. That's a four-two, I reckon.
Cthulhu. It might be. I mean, he's just got double. Uh, he just did double cycle, so it's probably Cthulhu. I wonder if I just play this and just hope for a yeah, just hope for a death roll, don't I? Yeah. I get this spawns back and an eight drop out. Yeah, it's the correct play. Steel. What's he got of life steel? Steel, yeah, it's just steel axe. Where about? Where is your cuffoon? I hope you like my invention. Oh, his deck's annoying. <laughs> Can't defile there, right? Not really. It's a turn before Godfrey. There's Cthulhu in his hand. Unless it's Zillax. He can defile now, yeah. I got a little thrill of a hunt. That's a win. Currently five and three. He's not. Ta he's clearly not targeting me there. Uh, I don't know. Actually, like I don't know when. I, like, usually, like if one card seems interesting enough, I'll try like build a deck around one card in particular. Well, you never really hit legend with just one deck. I you hit legend with like a mix of decks. You usually have like three decks that you cycle to get there. It used to be a. Uh, an old form of like uh, Malaga's Druid as well. Went before like all the Druid nerfs. That's good if you play in a lot of aggro Paladins, I think. Especially pal like if you play mid Paladins. Like, the question is, is this guy gonna, if he doesn't have removal here, uh, then he's pretty much, he's pretty much dead. <laughs> he needs to, he needs to touch my uh, Umbra. He could play Doom, so yeah. Dark Bomb and Coil. Oh, Defile. Okay. Well, it's not the end of the world, because it just, like, just means that it doesn't trigger from hand. That's, that's a lot, mate. That's a lot. I just took out prep. Well, I took out one prep. I took out one prep and put in... Oh shit, did I have mana floating there? Oh fuck, I forgot to uh, cheat that. Oops. <laughs> uh, I took out one prep and put in, um... Ah, uh, coin. Coin. Coin of the realm. It's all right anyway, I floated mana. I floated it. Dirty floater. All right, rag hit face. Oh, bad rag. Thank you, rag. Do rag never does it what, what I want him to do. Very rarely does rag hit anything uh, relevant in the match. 
Oh, that could go badly. Did I get that back? I'm pretty sure I get that back. And now Godfrey is impossible. Came back. Hey, the good there. Yes. How did I miss the explain so? I'll play the rag from hand. Oh wait. no, but it would have had less of a chance though. You could have just pulled the other rag. Yeah, but it would have it would have been less less of a chance. I gave it optimal optimal chance. I'll do this. It's just sad if it hits this twice. Sad. Sadness at that. That's six free. You want to see the coil? You want to see the old cowboy vanguard? I, sometimes the only reason I'm taking note of my win rate today is like some people ask if this deck's good or how it's doing. So I thought I, you know, I always think like I actually don't know how this deck does. Like stat wise, I have no idea what my stats are during the stream. So I'm trying, I'm trying to uh, record my uh, win rate so far. So yeah, seven and three. We're doing a uh, plus win rate, so that's a good thing. I mean, it's obviously not like it's obviously not a tier one deck, but it's just nice, isn't it? Does good against big priest. Does good against most warlocks. You struggle with sh even shaman and odd paladin, but I actually have a plus win rate on both of those decks today. Today. Yeah, I do the editing on the videos and stuff like that. So I like I've got all I record everything locally because the quality is better. Oh, it's uh, oh you'll have silence then. I cannot do that. Yes, you can. It's all about with these types of decks though. It's all about knowing what to mulligan against your likely out against your likely um. He's got a silence right spellbreaker. That's gonna be killable against my dude. And this guy might have a good start in hand, I can't quite tell. If I can survive one turn, we might be able to uh, come back here. Yeah. Wow, we traded off the five. That's really good. Pretty happy with that. Oh, he's juggling. Oh, I think we just won. Oh, poor penguin. Poor penguin, man. That's awful. How can you do that? Oh no! You summoned Ragnaros. Well, that's really good because now, yeah, I just like, yeah. Sorry, mate. Goodbye. I mean, that's like that's a typical wild game in it. Honestly, we gotta get two drop though, didn't he? Um, should I just play Lich King? I mean, that's probably good enough. Could 
could have fanned as well and give Rag a better chance, but yeah, Lich is just fine. We have Weapon Lethal. It's good. There's a couple of things we could have done there. And that didn't really take much explaining to do. Poor guy. He had like, he had like the nut, nut draw, didn't he, with all of his little zero drops, and he was like, oh, look at this for a turn, or... Oh. It's very easy to, like, I don't know, if I was gonna nerf the odd and even decks, I would just make the odd hero power cost free. Because then it's even, then it's odd, isn't it? So it's like, then it's odd. Makes more sense, doesn't it? And then you can't just, like, uh, turn one, play a card, then turn two hero power. You have to wait till turn three. Which makes you turn two pretty hard. I don't know. I feel like that hero power should cost three mana. Is that too much? I'm gonna bounce that back, bro. I'll re pull. And I'll get a zero mana card off it. I'll keep coin for. Uh... Oh, will that? Oh, will I? Justice is mine. Tonight, a tale of. Oh. Oh. You're defensive. Wait, if I punch, that can that can trigger can it still? Yeah. 50-50 then. Thought it was gonna be like a a tempo-y type or aggressive. Yeah, yeah, you're right there. I could have coin prepped and vile if it wasn't wasn't nerfed. It's about, it's about to happen. Oh, mate. I think I will. Uh, I'm going to prep it anyway, because, like, what, what else am I going to prep? You know what I mean? Look at this dude. Do I want a Sneeze Legendary? Yes, I do. I knew that's why I prepped first. Clearly. I'm a great player. What a beautiful turn that was. I probably shouldn't have eviscerated twice because he might have Doomsayer, but I was rewarded with um, Obliterate. I can obliterate that smelly cultist. And I'm sure I, I'm sure I would have found uh, the correct answer, wouldn't I? I mean, let me just like obliterate this dude first, anyway. Ice block. Well, at least we know what's coming next, eh? Make it big, big play. Smite him. Take that. Ice block. He's panicking. Oh, I just got like a free pop. Well, I should kill this first. On with the show. On. So he, he pulls a uh, ice block barrier. Then I should probably like sap this so it's like an overdraw. Mind games. Oh, I'll make it doomsayer. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Yes. You got rid of a molten reflection, that's good. Missed ice block off Fort Steel. Why? Oh my god, he's trying to mill me. Did he give up? Did he give up? He gave up. Sweet. 
All right, now we're nine five. Um, uh, I, uh, I've played against one zoo and one Cthulhu deck today. Get a ride on it. Coin. It's another zoo. Yeah. So uh, eleven five. Is that updated on stream? Eleven five. I. Yahar. Oh, there's coin. Fuck. Very sad. Very sad. In the light's name. Oh god. That's that's gonna be me conceding. Uh -huh. It's funny how like one one draw can completely like oh, well. If only like coin had been one turn prior, that would have got popped out. I mean, well.